RoboCop's real. How about that for a headline? Um, Stanford Shopping Center in beautiful Palo Alto, California, which is the really, really expensive Rodeo Drive type shopping center in Palo Alto, California, uh, has a new cop on the street, and we've got a video of it. Let's take a look. Uh, I thought it looked like a very like large. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it looked like a very large vibrator. That's what I thought it looked like. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to make everything. Are we? Can they hear us now? I think. Yeah. They can okay. Hear good. So this is. Yeah. Agreed. It so what does it do? It just drives around like that? That doesn't seem useful. Um, it. Well, I'm glad you asked, Jimmy, because okay. I have a graphic for this. The features uh, of the um, the robot that they're using that looks like a Dalek, sort of a, a phallic Dalek from uh, Doctor Who. Uh, it has a HD infrared cameras, microphones, so it listens for things like the shattering of glass. Um, it can intercept mobile pings from cellular devices, which is much more terrifying than the first two. Yes. Um, and it can scan up to 300 plates per minute. What is a plate? A uh, license, license plate. plate. Oh. 300 license plates in a minute. Um, as for, for the design of the um, iRobot, as we're calling it, um, the Stacy Dean Stevens, who is the co-founder of Nightscope, the company that created this robot, uh, we could have gone two ways with the design, friendly or ominous, but don't, you don't want to scare everyone and make them not like the tech. You want it to be like, you want it to be comforting, like a police officer. <laughs> oh, I see. I, I thought you would like this. I grew up in a minority you got, community. Yeah. You, would, you want to walk a fine line between having a, com a commanding presence and not scaring grandma or little Janie. Um, so that, I thought you'd like that that quote. <laughs> okay, so uh, they're right. Uh, I guess <laughs> designing it like a small vibrator um, does make it a little bit more friendly. And apparently, they've gotten a, a lipstick on a couple of them because <laughs> women are coming up and kissing them. Um, so that's very cute. Um, and and it's funny how marketing works, right? You make it look a little cute instead of like RoboCop and threatening and stuff. And people are like, oh, it's it's great. It's it's got all my information. That's terrific. Wait a minute. Right? Yeah. So look, let's talk about its upside. Its upsides are real, okay? It's no, we don't live in a black and white world. Um, so for example, they've got different kinds of lists, right? Uh, that the robot is keeping track of. So one thing is a blacklist. Now, how do you get on the robot's blacklist? Okay, I know that sounds absurd, right? But there's a real reason for it and it's important. So if somebody's got a restraining order on you, right? And they work at that mall, uh, and you and the robot has their license plate, and it picks up. Oh, someone on the blacklist is in the mall, and it lets the cops know. Now that could really help somebody. That could maybe save their lives, etc. A disgruntled former employee, right? You don't want him coming back and, and shooting the whole place up. He's on the blacklist. His license plate shows up. They don't necessarily come and arrest him, but they come and investigate it, right? And the robot gives them lead time to do that because he picks it up right away. And in fact, they claim that in Sandy Hook, if the cops had gotten there 60 seconds earlier, they could have saved 12 more lives. Now, I don't know how true that is, but if it's uh, remotely true, you go, okay, I got it, speed matters. And so, so having a robot there might be able to get the cops there quicker, et cetera, right? So and I've given a lot of upsides to this, and then that's where most people end the conversation. And they go, oh, that's it, we're saving lives. We're saving lives, it's over, right? Now, the downside is, it's recording all the license plates. It's recording everything. Now we live, it's Big Brother. We're recording everything, right? So I don't know what I'm gonna do wrong at the mall. I literally couldn't come up with an example after a while, then I got one at the end, um, which I'll tell you about in a second. But I was like, but still, I don't wanna be recorded. I don't wanna be recorded 24 seven in case I do something wrong slightly. like. If I'm doing something really wrong, I punch somebody in the face, okay, fair enough, right? But mm -hmm. like, I don't know, and I couldn't, so, but the idea of like, well, if you're not guilty, then you got nothing to worry about. But who wants to be recorded at all hours of the day, at all the times, you, you never do anything wrong? And remember, so one of the things that I remembered was Donald Trump, uh, when he was defending Bill Clinton's morals back in the 1990s, and he wrote this in a book, Said, ah, those conservative guys are all hypocrites um, because you know they're being moralists against Bill Clinton's sexual shenanigans, right? Now he's turned around and called Bill Clinton a rapist. That's Donald Trump for you. But anyway, but back then he was defending him, and he said, I know because 
uh, one of the congressmen was at one of my hotels with his mistress and another a conservative pundit was at one of my resorts with a you know uh, with his girlfriend or whatever oh so he's tracking everybody that comes to his hotels and his resorts yeah you give people the power to track people and they will use it right all of a sudden now again we're happy that would we found out ray rice was beating his uh, uh, you know fiance at the time but you're a famous person in that case they're recording everything you do at a casino because there's cameras mm -hmm. everywhere right yeah. and if you would grab your crotch at the wrong time well you're going to get busted just the same and <laughs> you know whatever i mean i don't know is that a thing people do but right, right you see what i'm saying you can't do anything wrong and and it's just too oppressive and then i finally i came up with an example of where this could be deeply problematic some malls not probably not the rodeo drive of palo alto right, right. but some malls have massage parlors Oh, okay. thank goodness. AMPs. <laughs> Asian massage parlors, they call oh, them. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. right. uh, <laughs> I hadn't heard that before. Okay. So now. You don't go to the websites I go to. <laughs> apparently not. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but I like how I pretend. It took me a while to come up with this what? example. Okay. <laughs> no, but seriously. <laughs> and then I remembered oh, there was the, the Christian uh, moralist who, fundamentalist, and we did a story a couple of years ago. They would go to those, to those strip malls and they'd write down the license plates mm -hmm. of the guys who were going to get a massage. And then they'd go and try to find their wives or their girlfriends or whoever, right? And if they were single, they'd just report them to their church because they're going to judge, judge, judge no matter what, right? Now, you don't need those schmucks out there writing the license mm -hmm. plate. You got a robot to do it for you. It's, now, all of your privacy pff, up in smoke. I, I don't know. I don't want to live in that world. I tell myself, but I find myself coming down on the side of like, if I'm not doing anything wrong, why do I care? I ha and that's that relies fundamentally on a trust in law enforcement yeah not to but take you, advantage you, of if me. you're not doing any go ahead Jeff. if you're not doing anything wrong uh then, you know maybe you uh maybe your girlfriend's uh a brother is is a, is the sheriff and he's got a fucking hard on for you and he wants to take some information and blackmail you with it or yeah. screw you over and that stuff happens and i and i'm not saying that i am, would be right in having a mm -hmm. full but it, the i would have to have a full I find myself having full confidence when I every day well, I see stories where I should. Let's say, Brett, that you were in some kind of a news organization that wanted to upset the establishment. You wanted to take the money away out of politics, which is out of the news media, and they bribed some cops to go put together some stuff to get rid of these fucking guys who are upsetting their apple cart, and they wanted to smear you and do it. They're doing it right now to Bernie Sanders and his, and they don't, without any information. Imagine if they had information on you and they wanted to silence you, they would do it. Yeah. It's ah, but so that's who you. It's not you. It's not the guy who's driving a pretzel truck or a beer truck or doing any, any kind of truck. It's people who are agitators against the system. That's who needs the protection from stuff like this. It yeah. is not regular. People go, why, why would I care unless I'm doing something? Well, it's not you, and it's not the guy watching the Cubs game on his couch. It's the guy who's agitating against the powerful that needs this kind of protection because those are the people that they come down with on this stuff. Yeah, there's a rule that you. If you take out more than ten thousand dollars cash uh, from the bank, uh, they have to report that to the government because they don't want you to money launder, right? Now you can argue against the rule, but I get it overall, right? Uh, but if you get close to ten thousand uh, dollars, sometimes they'll report it too because they don't want you to evade that law by taking out nine thousand yeah. nine hundred bucks, right? So they're not dumb; they know how they, some people do that, right? But in the case of Elliot Spitzer, they went all the way down to five thousand mm -hmm. dollars because. They wanted him. They wanted to get Elliot Spitzer because he was the sheriff of Wall Street, and he was hurting the profits of the Wall Street bankers. So the government asked his own bank, "Hey, just let us know whenever he takes out any cash," and then they found. Then they used that as an excuse to track him. And when they tracked him, they caught him with prostitutes. <laughs> and all of a sudden, the guy who was challenging the, the powerful and was the sheriff of Wall Street. Gone. There is no more. Sheriff. There is no more. And yeah. you know what happened? The robbers then continued to crashed. rob, and then they crashed the economy. They got you just like they got Capone on income tax. They got Spitzer on cum tax. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but but by the way, it's always the sex. So it's, a, it's no, always. You know why? Because we all have sex. Yeah. And, and you know, it's, there's like I don't know. I guess there's some percentage of the population. Uh, luckily, I'm so busy. I guess I'm in that percentage now. I don't know if that's a lucky thing or an unlucky thing, 
that has boring sex lives where you just do the right things, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And all you, you want to do is saying? download Tinder and uh, uh, right. Tell but, me about it, stupid <laughs> girlfriend. Right. <laughs> right. But <laughs> like, but a lot of people do the wrong things because they're human beings. Right? Yeah. And they go here instead of there, and they sleep with that person instead of that person. And next thing you know, oh look at that, you're eliminated. Right. So these, this is their yes. And so, if they want to eliminate someone, they know that you did something that's worth being eliminated for. They just need to go find it. Yeah. Right. Because everybody's done something. Right. So that's all that is. And they were like, "Well, Elliot's done something. He's a grown up with money and power. He's done something. Let's go find it." And they used the Patriot Act to yeah. go after him. And what's worse, it was super fun. Yeah. The oh, thing he yeah. did was so fun. Oh, and boy. that really gets under people's skin. I'm not having fun. Why are you having fun? Uh, well, I don't get to be with those gorgeous yeah. women. Why do you get to be with those gorgeous women? <laughs> that's it. You're out. You're out. Okay. Like, but wait, I was trying to protect you from the guys who were going to rob you of billions of dollars and $2 trillion of your retirement savings. I, so I was trying to protect you from, no, no, you were with that attractive woman, and, and I don't get to be with her. I'm going to judge you. You're gone. Oh, shit, I just lost my retirement. Well, yeah. oops. And you know what? That's all because of this goddamn RoboCop. That's right. Okay. <laughs>